Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve part four of question number third. In this, A three is given to you means the third term of A P is given to you, and the sum of first ten term is given to you as one twenty five. In this case, you have to find the tenth term. A ten means you have to find the tenth term, and you have to find the common difference. So here. The third term is given to you, and the third term, or you can say, if you want to find the nth term of an AP, we have a formula for that. That nth term is equal to a plus n minus one into d. And the, here, the third term is given to you. So the term is third. So a third term is given to you. So instead of n, we can replace it by three. And the third term is equal to 15. So in place of a3, we can write 15. So this will be 2d. So this is the first equation we have, and the sum of 10 terms is given to you. So when we have to calculate the sum of n terms, we have a formula. This is 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So this is the sum of n terms. Here, the sum of 10 terms is given to you. So this will be 10 by 2. So this will be 2a plus 10 minus 1 into d. So here, the sum of first 10 terms is given to you as 125. So in place of this, we can write 125. This can be cancelled five times, and this is 2a plus 9d. So this is our Uh, this can be solved further. This five can be shifted to this side, and this will be one twenty five upon five is equal to two a plus nine d, and this can be cancelled twenty five times. So this will become two a plus nine d is equal to twenty five. So this is our second equation. So we have two equations with us. We can solve these two equations and we'll get the values of a and the d. So here, the first equation is uh, a plus 2d is equal to 15, and the second equation is 2a plus 9d is equal to 25. Now, to solve this, first of all. We have to equate the coefficient of a. Means you have to Make this 2a. Then, when we subtract these two equations, the, these will be cancelled out. To make this 2, what we have to do is we have to multiply this first equation by 2. Now, this equation will become we have to multiply this 2 with uh, with complete equation. So, this will become 2a. This will become 4d, and this will become 30. So, subtracting these two equations, these can be cancelled out. This will become 5d. And this will become minus five. So here the d will be equals to minus five upon five. So this can be cancelled out. So the value of d here is minus one. Means the common difference here is minus one. Now after that, what we have to do is we have to find the value of a ten. Means you have to find the tenth term of an ap. So to find the tenth term of an ap, we have a formula. This means we must know the value of a. We know the value of n as 10, and we know that the value of d is minus 1. So to find out the first term, again we can substitute this value of d in any of these two equations. So let's substitute this value of d in first equation because putting in this equation the calculation will be easy instead of in equation second. So here the value of a plus 2d. So two and the value of d is this is equals to fifteen. So this will be equals to minus two. And when this value shifted to that side, so minus two when shifted to that side will become plus two. So the first term must be equals to seventeen here. So the first term must be seventeen. Now if I substitute these values here. I'll get my tenth term. 
So this will be equal to 17 plus 9 multiplied by minus 1. This will be say, this will be minus 9 and 17 minus 9 is equal to 8. So the tenth term here must be equal to 8. So this is how you can solve this question. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in maths, you can contact to us. The phone number and the email address is given below in the description. Thank you.